Today we're gonna to be looking at the Stromer branded Antwerp bag. Now I've done a previous video on the Berlin bag that Stromer branded and you can uh, check that out towards the end. I'll leave a link to that. I, I haven't used these yet. I have one built over here. We'll show you in a second, but I figured we'd do a little bit of an unboxing today on this. So it comes in a um, nice plastic bag with a hanger so you can store them. And then what you get inside is the bag itself. Now, they're saying this bag is a 20 liter capacity. The dimensions are 28 by 43 by 17, and it's made out of a 420D polyester. They are saying the bag is waterproof as well. It's got a scratchy material to it, but it feels really good. Comes with a shoulder strap that's detachable, and then you have a buckle on the outside as well. This side is for your rack time compatible uh, racks. And this is the reason why I'm doing the video today because to put these bags on, took me almost a good half hour, 45 minutes to figure this out. I've never had a rack that had bags that you could put on it before. But what Stromer doesn't give you is any instructions. So you get these little cards, these little hanging cards. But other than that, you don't have any instructions on how to install this thing. The secret is they give you these little clips, but they don't tell you what these little clips are for. And underneath here, where the little hooks are, there's already clips in there. And so you instinctively, you try to put this onto your rack and nothing fits. Now it might fit on your rack, I don't know, because I guess each of the rack sizes are different and that's why they give you these little clips, but they don't tell you that anywhere. And you really don't know who actually makes this bag. So you go onto the Stromer website and there's no instructions there either. So then you figure, okay, maybe it's Rack Time that does it. And yes, Rack Time actually has instructions for their bags, but you can't find this bag anywhere on their site. So anyway, that's what we're gonna go over today of how to actually install this onto your bike. Best case scenario, these little clips fit just fine, and this bag actually just snaps in perfectly. You have no problems. There's a Velcro piece at the bottom that you strap through to the bottom frame of your bike. And, and when we go out to the bike, I'll show you. But that's what that's for. This piece fits, these hooks fit on the top rack. And then you have a little release hook, and this, this hook snaps in to the rack. And then to release it, you just push in on it and the, the bag pops right out after this bottom strap is uh, released. If you look at the inside of the bag here, it is a shiny rubber coated or TPU type material on the inside. So that's where the waterproofing is really coming from is it's completely sealed on the inside with that coating. The other thing which is gonna be really hard to film is there is a little structure to the back of the bag. So there's a plastic insert that you cannot remove but it gives the bag some rigidity. And then on the inside as well, there's a very small, let's call it a, maybe a half pocket. And there's no way I can show you that, but it runs basically the width of the bag. So you could put potentially maybe a, an iPad or something there, but it's not gonna cover the iPad entirely. It's gonna be maybe a, either a quarter to a half for the iPad, but it gives you a little pocket to put like maybe your wallet keys or something like that so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bag. And then also in the bottom of the bag is, and I can't remove it, but there's a plastic bottom. So you push that through and it gives the bag some structure towards the bottom of the bag. Now, the other thing that I really like about this bag is on the sides, it gives you the ability to put a water bottle in here. So there's a, a stretchy pouch and then the Logos are uh, reflective uh, as well. So you have an ST logo on the side um, here and then one on the other side. So both sides are the same. So you actually get two water bottle pouches, two reflective ST logos. And then also you have these little loops. I guess you can clip stuff onto them as well. I know that people put lights or any kind of clips. And then the same thing with the front, you have a loop in the front as well that you can clip something through. And then you have an adjustable strap here as well. So depending on how you have this thing rolled, you can adjust it and, it and it closes up. So that's the bag. Here's one that's packed out already. And you can see 
uh, what that would look like. Here's the water bottle. Uh, so it's big enough for the swell bottle, but you can put a good size bottle in here. So that fits nice. And then as far as the inside, 20 liters is probably enough to do some light grocery shopping, maybe a picnic, maybe put a change of clothes in there if you're going someplace, maybe a bottle of trouble. If you have a bottle of trouble, I have a bunch of towels in here that I'm, I'm using just to fill the bag. So I've never used big bags like this, but I can definitely see where they would come in handy if you're gonna go shopping or do something like that. So now let's go over the most frustrating part of this bag, at least for me, which is those little clips. And I'll show you how to take those out um, or replace them with the ones that would fit your bike just in case you needed to swap them out. So um, let's get the uh, new bag and let's take the clips off. So we have that. So you're gonna need these little uh, clips here. So let's put those aside for now. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is you need a little screwdriver and then you're gonna want to get in here. Now there's no gap in here. You just have to force the screwdriver into this area and continue to press. But as you press, and be careful not to pierce your hand, but you're gonna feel like you're breaking it and you're not. As you saw there, it was unexpected, but you just have to lever it inwards. Um, and then as you press down, it'll just pop out. So let's do that on the next one as well. And again, you just have to really cram this in here and continue to force it. And there it goes. And it, again, it feels like you're breaking these little clips off, but you're really not. They're designed apparently to do that. So let's put these aside. They're not labeled anywhere. And the curvature is very subtle. You could barely distinguish which ones are which. Now, putting these back on is just as weird. So you think they would just slip in there but they don't. You have to actually get your screwdriver again and you have to get in there and then lever those up and they'll clip in. So again, you put the clip in, get your screwdriver, put it underneath the clip and then lever it up in there until it snaps and there you go. And then that's it. And so once that's done, it's done. And so now this is good to go. Let's go out to the garage and let's put these on so you can see what they look like on the bike. Okay, we're in the garage and uh, you get to see a beautiful picture of the rack. But let's put one of these on. As we talked about before, you have this bottom uh, Velcro piece and that's going to go around this bottom bar. So you can feed that you know, in and through and, and then secure that. But it's probably better that if you put this on first so you can get your hands free. But this is really easy. These hooks here are gonna go over this bar here and you just slide them in and push down until you hear a click, and now these are locked in. So once you have the bag clipped in, now you can come down here and secure these Velcro straps to the frame, and now the bag is stable, and it's not gonna go anywhere. You could pick up the bike with this to undo it. You undo the Velcro, push down on this little lever, and the bags come right off. So that's how easy it is. Uh, now, one thing I forgot to tell you as well is that these hooks slide. So depending on how you have the rack set up, you, have, you could slide these to be wider or narrower depending on the size of your rack. But these just again, clip in. And once you hear the snap, it's good. And then again, come down here and affix your Velcro and you're good to go. So these are good. So let's put the other one on. Okay, let's put this one on, it snaps in. So now this one's in place. And then if I wanted to keep that on the bike, I can just affix the Velcro on the bottom. And here's what the bike looks like with both bags packed out. I just put some towels in both of them. So you can see, there's what it looks like with the water bottle. Again, you can have the water bottle on either side. Here's what they would look like without the water bottle. I would take the shoulder strap off on the one on the, on the left. But that's what they look like. There are two versions of this bag. They sell them individually, but they also sell ones that are connected. So if you're gonna use two bags, then you can buy the connected one and then it fits on there through the middle part of this rack. So it clips in to the snap mounts. And then I went for the single bag version just because I don't know if I'm ever gonna ride with two bags. I, I have the option to if I want to 
But if I just want to ride with just one bag, then I can do that pretty easily. I'm not committed to having two bags. But I think that if you're going to need two bags, then the one that has the plate in the middle that would fit onto this part here on the rack is going to probably be a better option for you because it's easier to just snap on and snap off. And then there's a handle in the middle that you just pull everything up that way. And, and then you have access to both bags at once. But I think these are pretty cool. And I'm a little bit of a Stromer fanboy. I hope you like this review of the Stromer branded Antwerp bags. Again, I think these look great on the bike. Are they probably the best? I don't know. I know there's a brand called Ortlieb out there that people rave about, and I'm sure are built for more aggressive bike packing and things like that. But to me, the Stromer branded stuff looks really good on these bikes. Like I said earlier, the Berlin bag is the one I usually have on here. And I really like that bag. It's just a small bag that's basically a bucket. You could just put everything in, carry your spare bike pump and my sunglasses and things like that. And it's really easy and convenient, but I can definitely see these. If you're going to go to the store, maybe to a farmer's market, making some light shopping, these bags would be great. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something as far as how to get these on. I'll leave links to the rack time instructions as well so you can follow along because I had to dig for those. And I'll leave a link to the Stromer website where you can pick up these bags if you want to shop for them or whatever else that they have for accessories that might work for you. Okay, thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.